Over the last one to two years, several American leaders have warned that Taiwan is at risk of invasion from China. American senators have now taken a strong step. The U.S. Senate has passed the defense spending bill for 2023, valued at nearly 850 billion U.S. dollars, including 10 billion U.S. dollars in security aid for Taiwan. Senators overwhelmingly passed the National Defense Authorization Act (NDAA), sending the bill to U.S. President Joe Biden to be signed into law. Lawmakers included the Taiwan Enhanced Resilience Act (or TERA) in the NDAA which would authorize up to $10 billion US dollars in security assistance to modernize Taiwan's security capabilities. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Taiwan Enhanced Resilience Act has opened up massive support from the US. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Terra authorizes $2 billion in annual military aid for five years under an interagency program that provides grants and loans to Taiwan to purchase U.S. military equipment, services, and training. It also authorizes $1 billion US dollars annually of emergency defense assistance to Taiwan. According to the NDAA language, Terra aims to strengthen the United States-Taiwan defense relationship and prevent the People's Republic of China from decapitating, seizing control of, or otherwise neutralizing or rendering ineffective Taiwan's civilian and defense leadership. It would authorize up to $10 billion in foreign military financing grants over the next five years, enhancing training and collaboration, and make available up to $2 billion in loans. It would also give the President the authority to give Taiwan up to $1 billion in weapons and munitions. This also enables the creation of a regional contingency stockpile, which would allow the Pentagon to put weapons in Taiwan for use if a military conflict with China arises. In a statement Wednesday, Senator Bob Menendez, the New Jersey Democrat who is chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, said the national defense bill would be one of the most consequential in years. For setting the theater for real deterrence by implementing a more resilient strategy for Taiwan should China continue pursuing a collision course toward war. Jack Reed, Senate Armed Services Committee chairman, lauded the passage of the bill after months of negotiation and called it the most significant vote of the year. I've said it before and I'm not the only one saying it, the world is a more dangerous place than I've ever seen before in my lifetime," he was quoted as saying by The Hill. China views Taiwan as a breakaway province and wants to bring it to its fold in the future and has not ruled out the use of force. Taiwan is currently a self-governed democracy. In the last few years, China has been mounting increased pressure on Taiwan by sending warplanes and warships with a clear intention to intimidate. Wary that Russia's aggression against Ukraine might prompt China to take similar action against Taiwan, President Biden has said several times that the U.S. has an obligation to defend the self-governing island should China invade. Under Biden, as well as his predecessors, the U.S. has sold weapons to Taiwan to strengthen its defensive capabilities. While Taiwan's military expenditure is dwarfed by the Chinese defense budget, this assistance will certainly be very useful. The Ukraine-Russia conflict is clearly demonstrating even a technically less capable defensive force can give a larger power a run for its money. Subscribe for more videos like this. 
hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.